Hi, Emily, and that's Chris, and this is our tiny home on the water. Hi, welcome back to another video. In this uh, video, we sail north to Kastrup and then back down to Voltersborg Canal around the south coast of Sweden and up to the southeast Swedish archipelago. It's uh, a long video and I apologize now, but it's also our longest sail. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. We have been staying in Folsterbo for two weeks now and today we are heading out again but guess what we are not going to Ystad is planned but we are going back to Kastrup, Copenhagen It's a beautiful sunny day for going out on the water We're gonna have a headwind but hopefully we will get there within five, six hours. We just left the marina now. It's just so beautiful. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not even make a video of We're so far behind. Is it? Let's enjoy it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So I just record B-roll then. Autopilot is on. It's like our first sail. After a whole long winter, right? Yeah, it's yeah. So nice to be a final, nicer day, eh? <laughs> I've seen they do this in the movie. <laughs> on the inside. Oh wait, sit there. Let me uh, take a photo. What? Where is number two? Here is number two. Number three. It's a busy, busy road. This is number four. Wait, can you tell which one is faster? No, no, I hope I'm holding it here. I think I think the bigger one is faster. Really? No, no, it's faster. Look at that weight coming in. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, look at that. We are just a baby boat. We didn't do much filming on this trip, but we arrived in Kastrup, Copenhagen, picked up the paperwork and went out for the last walk around the city. 
and we were lucky enough to bump into this interesting festival. Hello from sunny Copenhagen. I know in our last video we uh, we sailed south to Foltersborg. However, uh, yesterday we had to come back up to Copenhagen to pick up some paperwork. And today we're heading back down south. The wind's coming from the south about 10 knots, gusting up to 20, and I'm expecting to be able to tack, hopefully most of the way. What's the sea like out there today? I think it's quite nice. The waves aren't so big. Yeah, it looks quite calm. Maybe a breeze. When we get a little bit uh, further away from these rocks in this marina, we'll uh, turn into the wind and put the mainsail up, okay? Yeah, okay. Let's see. <laughs> the sun's shining and there's not a cloud in the sky, but it's still quite cold. I think it's about 4 or 5 Celsius today. Turn all batteries. Because we just cannot tag. It's it's difficult, I think. So we've uh, been motoring south now for about 30 minutes. In the next uh, 20 minutes or so, I hope we can turn and uh, we'll be able to pull the head sail back out and continue sailing. motor down down into the wind for about an hour we did try tacking but the uh, the channel is too too narrow I couldn't get it to uh, go in the right direction 
I'm blaming the narrow channel, not my sailing ability. But I think it's a little bit of both. <laughs> okay, let's see. When can we sail again? Um, I hope we can turn uh, the engine off again in about 20 minutes, and we should uh, we should be able to get it. Well, we pass those wind turbines, right? Yeah, when we get a little bit nearer to the wind turbines, I'll uh, roll the Genoa out and we'll see how we go. Okie dokie, let's see. <laughs> This is Copenhagen Airport Rescue. Wait, are they coming after us? Well, I've just asked Reed to go up and have a little look at our halyard. When we pulled the mainsail up uh, earlier, it really didn't uh, have a good sail shape and it wasn't tight. So I think I've put the uh, the halyard on the wrong on the wrong uh, eye of the uh, sail. Well, we're almost at the marker. Once we uh, arrive at the next uh, green marker, I'm going to pull the head sail out and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be able to sail a little bit more of the way. What do you think? <laughs> I hope so. We see. <laughs> we see. You don't seem very confident. <laughs> You see that big ferry behind you? Yeah, that's been nice again. The one that chased us before. We are now about two to three hours from Fosterbo Marina and it's getting dark in 30 minutes. But the waves seem to be calmer. So we actually forgot to uh, record this but we did attempt to roll the Genoa out and try to sail. However, it was too close to the wind, it was too late and too cold. So we decided to motor the rest of the way. Well, we just arrived in about 10 minutes ago. I just uh went and got some diesel for the diesel heater we didn't get much sailing done today unfortunately but yeah, a little bit arrived. tiring right? yeah it's like very tiring engine. to listen to the engine yeah. and, uh, motor straight into the wind and the waves but we had to come down today otherwise we would miss the weather window to get further uh, around the coast of sweden so we're here and we're ready to rock and roll when we get the right weather We are going through the canal again. Full time or mid time? Can't remember. Where are we going today? We're going to Yusna, I think. Unless we uh, change our mind on the way there. <laughs> How's it going out here? Super fun. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. 
Yeah, not a, not a bit too rolly for you. A little bit, a little bit rolly, but I know it will be like this out here. Already prepared for it. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah, it's like this. Just looks flat on the camera. No, but it looks like I can't tell two meters. Yeah, maybe some of those rolling ones are about two meters. I just feel like I'm so low down here and the wave is up there. Probably should have tied the dinghy on with another line. The wind was against us and the waves were bigger than we expected. So we decided to stop off in this uh, fishing harbor for the night. Today, we are continuing on our trip. The weather seems to be much calmer and nicer. The sun is shining bright. Beautiful day out right here. So, Miss Ween, can you give us a little update here, please? Where are we? Where did we stay last night? What did we do? So, uh, last night we stopped somewhere between Forstable and Ustad. I forgot the place name. But today we are on our way to uh, a marina after Ustad. And uh, currently there's very little wind. So we are just moving slowly, slowly. Would you prefer to turn the engine on? <laughs> I think so. We did. Maybe five minutes, ten minutes, and Jen will be back on. And what's with the scarf? <laughs> it's just keeping me warm. I just found out that it keeps me so warm, my face and my neck. It's a bit faster now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I've just taken the uh, reef out of the main. There was no wind today. I put the reef in yesterday, thinking we might be able to sail, but uh, we ended up motoring yesterday. But we're getting a bit of sailing done today. What's happening? Why have we got the engine back on? Flat, 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 flat. The wind, uh, very little wind. So engine's back on. As you can hear, the engine's still going. I've uh, put the tent up. I thought I could see a bit of rain on the horizon. I got the head sail out, and I think it's adding a couple of knots to our speed. But I'm not going to take the tent down and put the main back up. What's the chef's verdict? Keep up. Is it good? Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, we're just approaching the channel into Ustad here, where all the big passenger ferries come. It looks like we're gonna meet this passenger ferry shortly. Although I hope to get just behind it. We've got the head sail out, although I'm not sure she's doing an awful lot. I think the engine's doing most of the work. It's absolutely still out here. 
little breeze, but. He's still cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. But look at the window. So clear. We are now about 20, 28 kilometers to Simrisham. We changed our destination again. We decided to go a little bit further so we can get to Hano Island a little bit faster. The weather is due to change in the next few days, so we kind of have to go. What are you doing? Just hanging out at the front here. It's quite nice, right? Mm hmm. How about the wind situation? There's almost no wind up here. We must be traveling at about the same speed as the wind. We should really be sailing, right? Two or three <laughs> knots, but we're motoring. How's it going? Awesome. What do you prefer? Sailing with 20 knots of wind or motoring with no wind? I don't know. I prefer this feeling. <laughs> what are you doing? Titanic. <laughs> I need a little candy. <laughs> the new one, yeah? What are you looking forward to in Simrisham? Nice hot shower. That's it? Thai restaurant. Possible. Anything else? No, then Hano Island. Straight to Hano, yo. Sounds like a plan. Just enjoying the evening. How, how far are we? I think we've still got 40 kilometers to go. Yeah. We're gonna arrive just after dark, a couple of hours after sunset. But I always enjoy watching the sunset when we're out on the ocean, out on the water. Who's sunset now? And I think the sun's setting in the next hour and a half, two hours. I'm just so excited, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> <laughs> watching the sunset on the deck. On our sailboat. Now we are heading a little bit north. <laughs> Thanks. That's why we can put the sail out again. Colder now, yeah? yeah. Beautiful, right? I think as soon as the sun sets, you may go inside and get that diesel heater turned up the maximum. Well, we're about 20 kilometers now from Simrishem. There's a tiny bit of wind just keeping the sail in shape. 
and we're making about 10 kilometers an hour. I expect we'll arrive just after sunset, uh, so it'll be dark when we arrive, but we've been in this marina before. It's quite, uh, quite well marked. Are you looking pretty there? Definitely getting colder. I got a nice warm coffee to keep it going. I think we've got another hour until we arrive at Super Tank. Well, we're about five kilometers out from Simrisham now. The sun set about a couple of hours ago. I've still got the head sail out, but I don't think it's uh, doing an awful lot. We've been motoring most of the way. That's quite typical. We're about two kilometers now from Simrisum, and the wind's just picking up enough that we could start sailing. I think we're making about five, uh, five and a half kilometers an hour. Listening to the engine constantly is quite comfy, right? Yeah, and the waves are so big. Mm -hmm. Cannot see anything. I am just trying to show you the stars, but. My phone is not good enough to capture them. It's so dark. But all I can see now is the star and the sail. That's it. <laughs> so dark on the video. It's me talking. Any update? Any update? We're doing about three and a half kilometers an hour. I was expecting the wind to pick up, but uh, nothing yet. Well, we've been sailing for a couple of hours now and the wind seems to be picking up. We're making about nine or 10 kilometers per hour. Well, the winds continue to pick up now. I've decided to reef the uh, Genoa a little bit just to keep it more comfortable. We're still making about eight or uh, nine kilometers an hour. Before I put a reef in the Genoa there, I think we were making about 11 kilometers, but we were healing it about 15 to 20 degrees. 
This is making the ride a little uncomfy. Well, we've almost arrived. We've got a tack when we get to this pin, and then we've got a clear run straight in. This is uh, Hano Island here. Queen, are you coming to watch sunrise? At this point, we planned to tack. However, we were so tired. That's why we decided to turn on the engine and motor the rest of the way. I just woke up now. It's only 7.5 km more to go. Over there is Hano Island, which we finally decided not to go because we need to buy more diesel and some other stuff before going up to Anchorage. So, we are heading to the marina just next to Hano Island. The sun is rising. It's only 40 minutes away now. It's so cold. <laughs> However, the sun's rising, which is really, really beautiful and bright. And it is rising! The first time we were on Hano Island, we watched the sunset. And today, we are at the same place, I assume, watching sunrise. This is really amazing. It's beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna wake him up. Ooh, <laughs> he's waking up. Beautiful out there, isn't it? Yeah. We can see the sun shining everywhere now, giving us some heat. We're just arriving now. It's about seven o'clock in the morning I think I can see the green marker ahead to go around that and then we can make a sharp right turn into the marina or into the harbor that's Hano Island over there we were there what four or five months ago well we've just arrived in Wien's just getting a line on. Usually it takes her about 20 minutes to get these lines on, right? Well, it looks pretty. It looks pretty nice here. Cattle vans over there. And many, many fishing boats. What do you think about our trip? Yeah, it was the longest yet, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Overnight, well, still longest, right? A little bit less than 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> 
I shall do next place. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> shall we take a selfie? I think we are going to sleep now and then we decide if we are going to the archipelagos or stay here for the night and continue tomorrow. I don't know. Let's see. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will enjoy it. Bye bye.